So you've got some ideas, some designs that you want to put out there on t-shirts and other products, but you're not exactly sure the best way how to do it. Well, I'll show you one way, the way I do it anyway. It's using Printful and Store Envy, and I'm going to take you step by step through my process. So hopefully you can take advantage of this and do it yourself. <laughs> Greetings people of the internet, I'm Scott with CircWorks Art Labs. Welcome to the Underground Laboratory where we create robots, aliens, zombies, and other imminent threats to humanity. And sometimes we take those things, we create designs, and we put them on products, and we put them out on our online store. And the, now, the day that I am posting this, it is Cyber Monday, which is the, kind of the, you know, uh, the internet's equivalent to Black Friday. So anyway, um, and uh, in gearing up for Cyber Monday, I decided, you know what, I want to do a new store. Now, if you've been following me, um, I do a lot of original designs and everything, very science-based stuff, stuff that you would find here in an underground laboratory. But uh, in the past, I did a lot of pop culture type stuff, and it's kind of been sitting there. It's on some other kind of websites like Redbubble and T Fury and all that kind of stuff and uh, and I keep getting sales from that and I thought you know what maybe I should create a separate site just my own site where I can uh, put that stuff out there and offer that as well as another avenue to bring in some some extra income some little passive income and uh, so anyway in doing that I also it also sparked out by a new design that I just created I had this idea to do as a design for a while and I hadn't really been doing any pop culture stuff but this idea to me was just a, a home run for me and, and uh, so I you know I'm gonna do this design and I'm gonna launch this separate little website so I'm gonna show you how I put together this website but so then, anyway this is the this is a design I did this is uh, called hey Java carbonite this and uh, this is really what Han Solo probably should have done when he was being encased in carbonite but anyway so I've got I've got all some you know funny pop culture parodies and things like that um, but I want to create a separate site away from my own website because I don't want that stuff to infuse into my my own brand anyway I, a lot of people here are just to figure out hey let's get to the actual creating of the site and everything and if you got artwork and everything you want to put it on some designs t-shirts hats you know tote bags whatever you want um, here's a way to do it by combining two different sites printful and store envy uh, this is the way I do it so I'm going to show you that so let's go up here to the parallelscope and uh, we'll check that out All right, so I am gonna show you what in my opinion is probably the quickest way to get up and running with your own site selling you know, t-shirts or bags or whatever uh, with your own designs on it uh, using two different sites, Printful, which is an on-demand online printing fulfillment and shipping service, and also Store Envy, which is an e-commerce uh, site that really doesn't require any upfront cost or anything. So if you don't want to sink a lot of money, if you just want to test some things out, in my opinion, this is the way to go. So uh, this is Printful here. From the home page, we're going to see sell designs online and we're going to click connect to your shop. And then uh, we're gonna fill out our info here and sign up for Printful. So now just fill in your name, your email, and create a password. And then after that, click sign up. And that'll bring you to this page. And if we scroll down, we will see where it says connect your store. Now we don't have a store yet. Uh, so we have to create a Store Envy store. So we're gonna open up another tab, leave this one open, another tab in your browser, and we're gonna open Store Envy. So I provided links to both of these sites in the description, but it's basically StoreEnvy.com and Printful.com is what you need to know. So now we're at StoreEnvy.com. We're gonna go up here to the top and we're gonna click on the Join link, and that's gonna open this window and we're gonna fill in our information. Kind of like we did when we were filling out all that information for Printful, we'll do the same here. And we're gonna click on Join Now. And that is gonna bring us to this page. And they want you to pick your favorite things. We can skip that one for now. Bring us to this page here, and we're gonna go up to Open a Store. That's just to the left of the little person icon. And we're gonna click that teal Open Your Store icon. And here's another window where we get to fill out more information. So we're gonna go ahead and fill that stuff out, and then we are gonna open our store. We're gonna keep our store envy open. We're gonna go back to our Printful tab that hopefully we left open. Now that we're back at Printful, we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna connect our store by hitting this red button right here. And we're gonna go over to connect to an e-commerce platform. We're gonna connect and then we are gonna find store envy, which is right down here. We're gonna to connect to that. Now let's scroll down and click the red connect to store envy button. And this takes you to this page where we're gonna click the blue authorize app button. 
that will take you back to your Printful account and it will start connecting your store Envy store and this may take a few minutes and there we go we're done now that our store envy store is linked we're gonna go over to our store envy tab and open store envy again we're gonna go over to the little store icon it looks like a little shop and we're gonna click on admin feed and then we're gonna click custom storefront and that's gonna allow us to kind of change up our storefront and kind of make it a little more our own we are now on the colors tab and there's a lot of different functions here uh, we can play around with these but I want to use red so I'm going to go ahead and change the the links here and make those red so when you hover over them and you click on them they uh, they turn red because that's going to be the color of my website and you like I said you can play around with these however you want just to kind of match your own brand but uh, once we do that we're going to click save changes and that's going to save that and then we're going to move down to the layout button which is right under the colors click on that tab there and we have some more options um, here we can change our fonts and I'm gonna go with something a little more in line with uh, what my uh, brand is and my logo that I created which you'll see in a minute I'm gonna change the title and body fonts as well so everything matches up I'm going to upload my own background so I want to make sure that the scroller repeat and centered buttons are checked uh, but you can change you can do a solid color background whatever you want to do uh, we've got some other functions here uh, there's a show my store name option I'm gonna toggle that to no because I've got my own logo that I want to upload and I don't want the type the automatic type to pop up over that and my header already has my logo so I'm gonna to toggle show logo to no as well let's click save changes now that we have everything the way we want let's go back down to layout and there's a link at the bottom here that says your admin panel a little green link we're gonna click on that that's gonna allow us to upload our own background image and banner so let's go ahead and do that uh, I've got mine already pre-made the header size is 980 by 175 I've chose my file and now I'm going to upload the image and then after that, I'm just going to do the same thing uh, for the uh, background image. Now, the background can be whatever size you want. I usually try to make it as big as, you know, as probably the biggest screen. Um, mine's going to repeat if it, if it doesn't, but, you know, that's kind of up to you, whatever you want to do for the background. And you can always just make it a solid background. You can go back up to your colors panel and everything and do that. Let's scroll back up and click on custom storefront and here's our store and now there we go our graphics are showing up great. I already have some products but let me show you how to upload your own products. From the store envy homepage go to the store icon and scroll down to products click that and now we are going to add our first product. We've clicked the blue add new product button and now we're going to fill out our product information so we're going to add a name and uh, a price and we're going to choose a category now this has got a drop down list now there's there's no i sell unisex t-shirts but there's no nothing for unisex so i'm just going to choose men because i think women will probably buy men's t-shirt but men probably won't buy women so that's what i'm going to go with that's the only real option they're going to give me I selected the subcategory of shirts and I click submit and that brings us to this page now we're going to fill out some more information we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a description and uh, let's see, we're going to add some tags because we want, uh, want people to be able to find our stuff. The only thing is we're kind of limited to what tags we can put, so make them count. Uh, we can go ahead and save those changes. Now what we're going to do is we are going to add some product images. Now there's two different kinds of files you're going to need. You're going to need the actual artwork that's going to be a transparent PNG. That, that's the artwork that's going to go on the shirt. We're going to upload that later through Printful. But right now we want some product images so people can see what it looks like on a shirt, on a person or whatever. So we're uploading those. That's going to take a little while. But while we're doing that, we're going to go down and we are going to start adding some variants. And the variants are going to be our different sizes. So um, I went ahead and just changed the default. I edited that, changed that to small. And then I'm going to start adding my other variants. So I'm just going to go down the line, medium, large, extra large. Uh, once you get into doing like double extra large, then the prices are going to change. Those shirts are more expensive. So we do have an option once we get into that. So here's our 2XL shirt. Let's fill in that information. And then over here, we can set a different price. There's a little checkbox. We'll click on that. 
and that's going to allow us to change the price to reflect the more expensive price that we're going to be paying for uh, t-shirts through Printful. So we want to make sure we do that. And you're going to have to kind of look at this yourself because all the prices are different, uh, but you're going to have to figure that out. Our images are finished loading and if you want to make images yourself just Google mockups, t-shirt mockups online and you'll be able to use those as templates and drop your artwork on there. But since those images are loaded we're going to go ahead and we're going to click the blue save changes button and we have completed our first product. Now there's still some stuff we have to do with our product to set it up in Printful. We're going to do that but before we do that we're going to fill out our store envy profile and then we'll go back to, to uh, Printful after that. From the store envy homepage we're going to go up to this little circle and there's a drop down box and we are going to click our profile name and we're going to edit our profile. We want to fill out our information. We're going to add a bio here so people know what we're all about. We're going to go ahead and click Save Changes. Then we're going to go down to this link here that says Photo, and we're going to upload our photo. I've got my little logo that I'm going to use. Click on that. We're going to save those changes as well. Now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and go back over to the Printful homepage, and we are going to finish connecting our product with Printful. In the top right corner, we're going to go ahead and click on our username. We're going to go down to stores. And I've got a few different stores, but you probably will have one. Mine uh, that I'm using right now is Cirque Pop, so I'm going to click on that. And here's our products. You should have one product, the product you created. We're going to go ahead and, and click on that, and that should open up some options for us. These are our various sizes. We're going to go ahead and click on Create Product and then click T-shirts if you're making a T-shirt, which I am. Um, now we're going to click on this T-shirt button here. And we have a lot to choose from, but I'm going to pick this first one, this Bella Canvas. And I am going to pick the color I want. I'm going to go ahead and pick this Athletic Heather color. And this size is the double XL, it says right up there. So we're going to click on that so that everything matches up. We'll click on that double XL. Now is when we're going to upload our t-shirt artwork that I talked about before. That's that transparent PNG. So you want a decent size. All the specs should be in printful. You can look for those. Um, so I've uploaded that. Now we can kind of resize it on our t-shirt so we get to the point where it looks the way we want it. If we want, we can enlarge that so we can get a better look. Click that enlarge button. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Happy with that. We can zoom back out. And uh, yeah, so now we've pretty much got everything. So everything was good. So we can go ahead and we can click this little red button down here. And that will finalize everything. And now we're just going to go down the line. We're going to create another product. Now Printful automatically fills in all the other stuff. The only thing we have to change now is our size. So uh, yeah, so let's pick this next size, just everything to match. And we'll just go right down the line and we'll go ahead and, and add all our different sizes. Now, the thing is some, some shirts don't carry all the different sizes or different colors. And I don't really know how colors work if you have to set up a different variant for each one of those colors. I usually just pick one color for my t-shirt to make it easy. If you want to do different colors, you may have to look into that a little more. But anyway, so I'm just going down and I am going to select all the different t-shirts and, uh, and then we've got all our products set up and ready to go. Now when we go back over to our custom storefront in Store Envy, we can see all our designs and we can see how all the different sizes pop up and everything and yeah, everything is looking good. All right, now we're going to go back over to Printful. Now the real benefit to using Printful is that they pretty much do everything for you. They will print the designs. They can print one-off shirts, like one design. You don't have to order a bunch of stock. You don't have to carry all the different t-shirts or anything like that. And, uh, and they ship it out to you with your information on it. So as far as your clients or your customers know, it's coming directly from you. And in order to do that, uh, you are able to create your own packing slips. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our username, we're gonna go down to stores, we're gonna click our store and click the edit button here. And so once we click on that, we've got some options here on the side. We're gonna go to packing slips and this allows us to create a custom packing slip and this size is on there I think it's three by two so I've already created mine so I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna upload that 
Now, mine will say Cirqueworks Art Labs, which is sort of my parent company. Uh, I didn't want to put I didn't want to put Cirque Pop, but um, hopefully they'll know because it says Cirque Pop by Cirqueworks. I know it's all very confusing, but it makes sense to me. But anyway, now I got my packing slip. Everything is ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead, you know, click save. And uh, so, yeah, now anytime they ship out a product, it's gonna have my information on it. We're getting closer to launch our store, but before we can do that, we have to enter all our billing information on both Printful and Store Envy. Uh, I don't wanna get too much into that, obviously, because reasons obviously but uh, I do want to kind of show you where to find everything and there's plenty of helpful videos on Printful that'll take you through but anyway we're gonna go up to our username we're gonna go down to billing and that will take you to where we need to fill out all our PayPal information likewise we need to do the same thing in store envy so we go to our store icon and we click the click down to settings and now, uh, yeah, we've got a lot of different things here we can fill out. We can add all our social media information, um, and we can add, I've just, I've added my little business logo. And now this is where we set up either our payment with either Stripe or PayPal. I tend to use PayPal for pretty much everything. Um, as far as the shipping classes, I don't know that we have need to worry about that because I think Printful takes care of that for us. They're the ones doing the shipping, so I think that they do automatically fill that in. Uh, and then here we've got our customer support settings, and uh, yeah, we can go ahead and kind of customize our message that goes out when somebody makes an order. Uh, we've got some FAQs we can fill out if we want to do that. And uh, yeah, just basically anything that's going to kind of help your customers out. And then we have these uh, location settings. This is where we fill out our address and our state's tax rate. Gotta, gotta pay the tax man. All right, with all that filled out, we're finally ready to launch our store. So up here at Store Envy's homepage, you see this red bar saying that our marketplace and our store are closed. We're gonna click each one of these links and down below you will see this bright red uh, close button. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna select that and that is gonna open our storefront. And then we are gonna do the same thing with our marketplace. Um, the button up there for marketplace, we're gonna click that, we're gonna do the same thing, and that's gonna open our marketplace. Now what the marketplace is, that's where uh, everyone, it's, it's a marketplace. So your stuff, if you feature on the marketplace, other people can find it, just like if it was Etsy or something else, people go on the marketplace searching for things, and hopefully they can find your stuff. And uh, so that's, that's pretty much it. So I hope that was helpful. I tried to include as much information as I could without making this like an hour long video. There's there's a bunch of other stuff as far as actually designing your shirts and things like that. So, and there's some different functions that I didn't cover. These are sort of the basic functions. Um, these programs, I mean the Printful and and uh, Store Envy are pretty robust. They offer a lot of different options for customization and things like that. And you just kind of have to dig a little deeper when you go into that 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 stuff. And you can do a lot more. I mean, especially with like Printful, there's so many other products. We just talked about t-shirts, but they do all kinds of different products. And like I said, I think this is the best way just to, if you just want to get a store up and running, um, because there's, and there's, there's other, Printful will uh, integrate with other things like Etsy, which I also have an Etsy store through Printful and all that. Um, I mean, I bet my Printful products will ship through Etsy, uh, but they, you know, you can do, you can do um, like, uh, what were some other popular ones like uh, Shop? Shopify, uh, Big Cartel, but a lot of those there is some upfront investment. Um, Store Envy is not really like that. It's they take a percentage of what you sell, um, so there's really no drawback. You can put your stuff up there, and you're not going to have to sink a lot of money up front. And if things start moving, if you want to move on to a different e-commerce platform, you can. But I think this is the basic. Uh, Kind of the first step of getting your stuff out there and uh, without you know without any investment other than of course your time which might be substantial if you're doing a lot of different designs but this is the way i do it and hopefully this will give you some ideas of how to kind of launch your own store and i hope it works out well for you All right, so that's how I created my site for Cirque Pop. If you want to check out some of those designs, you can go to CirquePop.com. Um, and uh, yeah, so you know, I've got this shirt. I've got my How to Kill Monsters design. All the different ways you can kill monsters. Of course, the classic 
Tron Burgundy, but you know, all these fun kind of pop culture centric designs that are up there. And if you have any questions on anything that you didn't understand from this, or if you want to clarify me to clarify it a little more, let me know in the comments section. And hopefully you guys can take this information, run with it and get your own sites up and running and start making some little extra cash on the side using passive income with these different alternatives. And uh, um, yeah, anyway, I will see you guys later. That is all. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me here in the Art Lab. There's a lot of other great content on the channel, so click that subscribe button and you won't miss a thing. If you're an aspiring evil genius, visit SilkWorks.com for all your mad science supply needs. And if you want to contact me, hit me up in the comments section or follow me on social media. I'm looking forward to it. I'll see you then.